So what's going on folks? How you feeling out there? Excuse me. Ah, this is a response video to the to the two and a half white girls. I guess it was three, but one of them didn't really say nothing. Who said the racist stuff about the Hispanics and whatnot? You know, that was awfully quick that you guys made an apology video. I'm gonna tell you straight up like this. I'm not buying the whole apology thing. This just got out of hand. Some stuff you couldn't control. Too much controversy. Like, this stuff was so bananas, I had an NBC producer hit me up on my channel asking me, do I know those girls and can I, they're trying to get in contact with them. The hell do I look like? Did you not see my video where I was, like, telling them girls they lost their goddamn minds? I wouldn't have made a video if I knew them. I would have went over there and snatched a knot in their ass. Like, you don't make no videos like that. You know, I would have disassociated myself with people like that. I don't be affiliated with racist people. Yeah, I got racist people in my family against whites, other blacks, Mexicans, and all that. But I really don't bother with them because I'm not that type of person. But back to what I was talking about. Females made that video. I'm not buying it for the simple fact. It seemed like it was scripted, if you ask me. They taking turns like they was reading something. And on top of that, you know, just the things you said. I mean, I was, I seen the video, it was a year ago and I seen it and I started crying when I seen it and I got Mexicans in my family and when they seen it, they were mad. No, no, don't, don't do that right there, sweetheart. Don't, don't do that. You know, you could have just made a straight up um, video saying, I'm sorry for what I did. You know, I didn't mean to do that. You said you was drunk. You know, you could have made it like that. But while you sitting there making it sound like, you know, you just got all these people, Mexican friends and all this. No. You know what it was? It was too much heat for you to handle. You know, people start getting your personal information. You start getting death threats. You know, and now you like, ah, I'm reaping what I sow, so I want to put this video out like it makes it better. See, the thing about it, it's a lot of crazy-ass people out here. There's people out here who's mad about that. You know, some people say sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. It's some people who words hurt, you know, and they still grieving over that. Now, they shouldn't do nothing like that. You know, they shouldn't let other people's words dictate their anger and their emotions and all that. But some people really can't control that, you know. I just think that these females wrote a check that they couldn't cash. And the good thing about it, you guys, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm thinking on both sides. I'm not the guy who just a one-sided type of guy. At least they made the video. You know, they could have just said fuck everything and just whatever. You got to give them the benefit of the doubt of that. You know, you got these girls scared for their lives. You know, at least they stepped up and made the video. Believe if you believe it or not. I personally don't buy it. But at the same time, they made the video. You know, probably their lawyer or their mother or somebody in their family told them to make this video to try to make things right. It's a lot of angry-ass people. People was responding from all over the country about this video here. You know, so I'm just going to say this, you guys. They're not the first or the last people to be racist. Understand that. It's a lot of people who sit at, sit at home and, you know, say cracker, say nigga, say beaner, say chink. They, they say all that. You know, it's just these girls got in front of a camera. You know, so at the end of the day, you can walk by somebody who hates your guts. As long as they don't say nothing, you don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? So just pretend they didn't say nothing at all and wipe that off. You know, they, they apologize. They understand that. You know, what they did was wrong, hopefully, and it is what it is. Don't lose no sleep over that. You know what I'm saying? You need to go by that model. Sticks and stones may break the bones. But what, well, I guess you say pistol and bats and dogs and cats can hurt you. <laughs> now, I'm going to get out of here, you guys. I just wanted to um, update you guys on how I felt about the video and tell the little girls, now you learned your lesson. I hope you don't do nothing stupid, you know. Stop all that damn drinking. You said you blame it on alcohol or whatnot. And um, until next time, you guys have a good one. Oh, and to all my Hispanic people out there, because I got a lot of Hispanic people who hit me up, man. Hey, listen up, folks. You know, you shouldn't let that shit bother you, because I'm going to let you in on a secret if you're not educated. Whites was not the first one in this country. So if anything, whites was illegal immigrants, blacks was illegal immigrants. It wasn't you guys. You guys just didn't get here first. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to get out of here this time. Peace.